All right, boys, so we are back. I'm determined with this team, and I feel like it has potential, so we're going to keep on using it. Um, I did switch a couple things around. You'll notice that the Flapple is gone. I switched it with the Rotom Wash, holding the Choice Scarf. That thing is there for trick shenanigans, and uh, I think it could be a little bit better for us. So, uh, We also had to take off the Scarf from Dragapult. I decided to give it Choice Specs because I really didn't have many other options, but I feel like that could work really well. Honestly, nothing can take a Specs Draco Meteor from a Dragapult, so that's what we're going to be working with. And uh, let us get some rank today, because we really need it, honestly. We're sitting at rank 9, we're close to Ultra Ball tier, and that means that we are well on our, ray, on our way to Master Ball. I think we need to get to 10 before it turns into Ultra Ball. I'm honestly not really sure how much of it works, but I think we're, we're sitting pretty nicely. So, Chomes is our first opponent. What are you working with, buddy? We do see the Galar Darmanitan, which is a threat. Uh, also, they got the Gyarados, the Toxapex. I am writing down the team here. Um, I do occasionally take notes. I like to just have it up on my screen as I play. There's also the Seismitoad. That, these things are kind of running around uh, a lot of the time just because of Dracovish. There's also a Ditto, which is scary, and then a Toxtricity. So, let us go ahead and we're probably going to need to bring the Rotom Wash. And that is because it does great against the Gyarados. Also, kind of nice against the Ro or the, the Darmanitan as well. So maybe let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and lead off with the Rotom. We can get a Volt Switch off. There's nothing that they have. actually they could go into the Seismitoad. But I don't think they're gonna really bring the Seismitoad. It could be great for the Gyarados actually. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and bring. Man, that Ditto is a threat too. Let's bring. Let's bring Cliff Fable. And then I kind of like. Do we want Halucha? No, we don't want Halucha. I do like Gyarados as well. Um, I think that's what we're gonna go with. So, lead Rotom, we could potentially just go for, um, if it's the Gyarados, I would kind of like to trick. But then, then, then again, Gyarados isn't going to stay in. So, this is definitely a good matchup. My team is pretty weak to the Galarian Darmanitan, so I'm assuming they're going to have to bring that thing. Um, and let's see what's going on here. This man's got the, the gold card. Spooky. All right. Also, it really makes me wonder if they brought the Ditto, too. So, they're actually going to lead off with the Gyarados, and this is great. So we have the Rotom Wash out here, Choice Scarf, easily outspeed. We can just go ahead and click T-Bolt here if we decide to. But they have that guaranteed switch in, which is the Seismitoad, which I'm sure they brought. They had to have brought the Seismitoad. I really don't want to make any risky maneuvers here, to be honest. I'm just going to go right for the trick, I think. Because this Gyarados is likely not going to stay in. Um, so let's go for the trick. I think the Seismitoad is likely going to come in. And if we get a Scarf on it, that's probably... Yeah, that could be better. And also, if this thing stays in, a Scarf Gyarados is great because it's likely going to Dragon Dance. So, all right. It is going to switch out. We know that they brought the Gyarados. They do have the Seismitoad, which is the answer for this thing. So, that could have been predicted. But if I would have been very punished if that didn't work out. So, all right. We get a Scarf on the Seismitoad, which is fine. And now, what we're going to do here is... This thing really doesn't have much that I could hit Rotom with, to be honest. Could just will o wisp it and just be able to see what this thing wants to do um i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna will o wisp it i want to bring in gyarados and potentially start setting that thing up if i can get mine up set up before theirs we're gonna have a good time so we do get the burn on this thing usually a lot of the time just mix attackers is gonna have the power whip which i did not even know that seismitoads were rolling with power whip these days holy shit well Pretty glad I got that will o -Wisp off then. That is fine. And since we have its leftovers, that works out for us. So we know that it's Choice Scarfed into Power Whip. Um, not the best accuracy move. That did a lot to Rotom. Um, we could switch into Gyarados. And we could Power Whip it right back. We could go into Clefable. Potentially start setting up some Calm Mines. Which might not be bad. They do have the Toxicity and the Toxapex. Though. I think we're going to go Gyarados. And if we can get a Dragon Dance up on ours... We should have a pretty pretty decent time. I'm assuming they brought Ditto as their last slot too, which might be bad if we start setting up with Gyarados. Uh, so they're just actually just going to stay in, go for the Power Whip here. And uh, Gyarados takes that nicely. So, this thing's over here getting hurt by the burn. He knows that I have the Power Whip on him. But I would like to Dragon Dance here. And that is what we're going to do. We kind of have a free Dragon Dance here. Um, the trick really helps us out. 
don't know if they're going to keep the Seismitoad in. They can't really switch in their Gyarados because they know that we're going to get our D-Dance up first. So we just go ahead and dance up here. And is this thing just going to stay in and power er, and, uh, and power whip again is the question. It is. So perfect. My trick shenanigans seem to be working quite swimmingly. All right. Um, so we could just go for our own power whip here. I could even just set up another Dragon Dance, to be honest, which might not be a bad idea. But this probably means that they brought their ditto, man. Oh, man. That is not good. Hmm. I think we just click Power Whip here. If I miss, that is unfortunate. We have to take another one. Do I want to use my Dyna early is the question. We have one Dragon Dance up. Power Whip guaranteed kills here. They're probably going to have their own ditto, which is a little bit scary. But let's go ahead and just click, click Power Whip here. And thank God we do hit it, so that's going to knock out the Toad. See you later, you wart. Boy, he got some boobs right on his head. All right. So that is one down. Uh, we are going to get the Moxie there, which is great. And now it is time to see if they brought the Ditto. Also, Darmanitan can come in. Um, we might have to Dynamax, depending on what they decide to go into. If it's Ditto, I'm actually... Yeah, oh, fuck, it's Ditto. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is not good at all. Uh, so it's going to get the Imposter... And at this point, it's going to be able to copy my stat changes. And I'm probably going to lose to my own Gyarados here. Oh, man. Do I even Dynamax here is the question. Hmm. Is this thing going to Dynamax? Do I want to save the Dynamax for my Rotom? Um... I think we probably just die. No, we can't take an attack from it anyway. Maybe if we Dynamax. I think that's what we're going to do. Man, not the best start to these freaking battles for me, man. Let's go for a bounce. I think this Ditto's going to Dynamax. He's going to expect me to Dynamax. Yeah, it is. Okay. Maybe I should have Dynamaxed myself here. But I think that if I can stall out this thing's Dynamax turns, we have a chance. Maybe. I, I really don't know, man. Ditto is such a big threat in this metagame. It, metagame it's honestly insane. Well, that is my own very scary Gyarados, and that's exactly the reason why it decided to stay in with that Seismitoad. So, just going to go for the max Airstream, get another speed boost, and uh, that's even just going to be able to finish me off. Yep, I, I completely am just going to lose this match, because now this Gyarados is extremely scary. Wow. <laughs> to get some Moxie, too. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Literally, him having the Ditto... Kind of made it, well, I could bring in Clefable and potentially take a hit, which I doubt because it's got, how many attack boosts? It's, it's got way too many. Why is, why is Ditto so good in this meta? Well, Clefable is going to go ahead and Dynamax Thunderbolt. Really nothing else I can do here. Red and Wash only has Volt Switch as its uh, electric attacking move, so. We are going to Dyna. This thing just has way too much attack. It's got a Dragon Dance, it's got that Moxie, and then its own. So, this thing is sitting at plus three attack. But we have a full health Clefable out here. Chewed gum does not go down easy. I mean, we usually do, but... I could have actually gone for the Max Guard, I guess, but... Kind of banking on Clefable living this. Yes! We lived it with 32! Clutch! But... Does this thing just die from the max lightning? You very much need it to. It definitely does. All right. Down goes my own Kratos. And wow, Clefable living that was very nice. Praise the Lord Clefable. Well, so that did it goes down. And uh, all they've got left is their own Gyarados. Which is actually great for us. So, let's see here. We get some health back from the leftovers. We have... Or no, just kidding. Yeah, they just have their own Gyarados left, so we were able to kill the Ditto. Took the wrong note there. All right, so... Gyarados, we're just going to click Max Lightning on you. There's no way that this thing can start to set up. We do still have the Rotom. Which I don't know if I can take a neutral Power Whip with. And all I have is Volt Switch. Which might actually be bad. It is actually just going to Dragon Dance. Hello? Are you Focus Sash? Please don't be Focus Sash. Oh god, is it going to be a Sashed Gyarados? 
Good lord, don't do it to me, sir. It is a Focus Sash Gyarados, and that is going to solidify the loss here. Damn. Well, so Clefable goes down. And, uh, yeah, there's really nothing that Rotom can do at this point. It is going to easily be faster. And, uh, we die from a Power Whip, unless it misses. Unless it misses. Man, I have not seen a Focus Sash Gyarados. So that really bums me out. Well, Clefable goes down. We've just seen Dragon Dance and Waterfall. I'm assuming this thing probably has the same moveset as I'm working with. It's going to get a Moxie as well, so that's going to just even make it easier. And now Zwin still having the Scarf on Rotom would very much help out. Damn it, man. This has been the most Gyarados-heavy battle of all freaking time. Well, we just click Volt Switch here and watch our washing machine. Missed the Power Whip. Damn it. It hit it. Well... So that kills Rotom, and I seriously cannot catch a break in these ranked battles. I don't know what is up, but him having the Focus Sash there solidified the win. <laughs> that is such a bummer. Anything but Sash Gyarados, we would have been able to win that. Like, what the hell? We get a Comet Shard. Thank you. Not going to check the team. All right. Let us continue. I guess. So we actually get knocked down to eight, which is insane. This is like, I did not think I was going to be doing this bad, to be honest. We started off with like so many wins in a row. We need to win these next two. All right. Another player has been found. We need to get back to nine now. This is just an uphill battle that's not going to be looking great for us. All right, Ferrothorn. A Dragapult. Snorlax, which is interesting. Mimic you. A... Darmanitan, and a Toxapex. So, right off the bat, it's not looking good for us. We have to bring Clefable for the Mimikyu. Um, yes. Do we want to lead off with Rotom Wash again? Might not be a bad play. Or do we just go Gyarados? What are they going to lead with is the question. Potentially, just going to be the Galarian Darmanitan lead. Um... I kind of just want to go with Scarf, Ro Scarf Rotom again. Then, let's go ahead and bring Clefable for sure. And then we're going to go Gyarados, because Gyarados is trusty as hell. So, first battle was absolutely garbage. That ditto really fucked up my whole day. And then Sash, Gyarados, like, really? I, the worst part is I don't feel like I'm even really playing that bad. It's just like... There's nothing I could do. There's definitely something I could do. I'm honestly probably just terrible, but, you know, that is the way she goes. So, let's see how this one goes, at least. We lead off with the Rotom Wash for potential Darmanitan. Um, they're going to be able to U-turn. Yeah, so they're going to lead off with their Darmanitan. And I assume the play is this thing is probably just going to U-turn, so I don't really... I mean, we're probably just going to go for a Volt Switch of our own. There's nothing that they have that can block it. Um, so let's go ahead and just Volt Switch here. This thing's going to be able to get an extreme amount of damage with a U-turn. And boy, do we have a hard time against Galarian Darmanitan. So let's just go ahead and click the Volt Switch here and see what this thing wants to do if they don't switch. We're kind of in a bad spot. Yep, they're going to go for the U-turn. So the good part about going for the pivot um, moving second is that it allows us... Uh, it also actually shows us that that thing is going to be Scarf. So Scarf, Darmanitan, you're super scary. Probably going to destroy my team. Um, going to need to Dynamax to be able to take a hit from it. But they're actually just going to go into their Dragapult here. So we'll go ahead and Volt Switch on you. Break any potential Sashes because we know Sashes are freaking annoying now. And, all right, so this allows us to get into Clefable freely. Um, can't really set up Calm Minds because that damn Darmanitan's around. It can just knock us out in, like, one hit if it really wants to. But what we can do is kind of just allow some pressure here. We can go for the Moonblast. If they brought the Toxapex, we'll be able to see that. And then we can Dynamax and then potentially Thunderbolts. Other than that, I think we have a great matchup against this team. They have the Ferrothorn, which we can Flamethrower. We are just going to click Moonblast here. And that late, that late pivot really helped us out, so... Whenever you see a Darmanitan, you're 
basically expected them to lead off with it and just U-turn. But, alright, you chewed gum. Let's see if we can, uh... I don't think this Dragapult's gonna stay in. I really doubt it wants to. It doesn't have anything that can Oko Clefable. And you really don't want to take a Moonblast. If they brought the Mimikyu, that thing comes in, and it's gonna be able to... Right, we're gonna be able to knock out its Disguise, which is great. But they're actually just gonna Dynamax. And, uh, okay, so did not really expect. Now it really kind of puts me in a position where I should have Dynamax Clefable. That actually... Really would have been a great play. I was kind of expecting a switch, I really would have thought that they would have conserved Direct Pulp, but okay. So now that this thing is big, it can take a Moonblast. And it can also hit us pretty hard with just a Max Phantasm. So that's what it's going to do. It's going to do over half. A lot, actually. Oh, yeah. Definitely over half. And uh, it's also going to drop our defense, which is not good. The Moonblast comes through. Not going to be able to finish it off. But, uh, okay, that defense drop is annoying. Do I have to... Do I have to switch here? I, I would like to conserve the Clefable, kind of. Do I really want to, though? I don't know. Gyarados is kind of my last hope here. Uh, we need to be able to get faster than that damn... Darmanitan. But that is super hard because it's Scarf anyway. Well, we got a defense drop, so even if I... If I Dynamax, I can't even take a hit, can I? Well, do I just switch into Rotom and sack this thing? We'll Scarf. Uh, I think we die. I mean, can we live if I Dynamax? We're going to do it. Clefable is great against this team. We're going to Dynamax. This is... Does that mean it's an, a physically offensive Dragapult? Max Phantasm gets the defense drop either way, right? So I guess it depends on if this thing's physically or specially based. Either way, we're going to get Clefable huge and get that HP. So, this goes for another Max Phantasm. What kind of Dragapult are you? No, we can take that. Okay. Special Dragapults. Perfect. So, the bad news about that is we kind of needed to waste our Dynamax. That is a bummer. But we are able to take care of the Dragapult, which is a huge threat out of the way. So, this is great. Anyway, it's also kind of nice to know uh, that the Darmanitan is Scarf rather than Banned. Because that means that Gyarados should be able to take a hit from it. And then I think we Oko... Man, it's actually... It's tough. I don't think Darmanitan really has anything that can Oko Gyarra. Mostly just working with U-Turn, Icicle Crash, Flare Blitz, and like Earthquake. Which we should be able to take in Icicle Crash. Probably barely, but... Alright. They're gonna bring back in the Darmanitan. And this thing can essentially just knock us out here. So we needed to waste our Dynamax, which is quite sad. And we know that the U-Turn does over half to the Rotom, which is like, what the fuck. Alright, well. We... Are kind of in a bad position here. We just click Max Starfall. Really nothing else to do. Um, a large Clefable. This thing's going to go for an Icicle Crash. And oh my Jesus, Clefable avoided it. <laughs> the Icicle Crash missed. That is so extremely clutch, you have no idea. Well, that's able to knock out the Darmanitan. And so you're saying there's a chance. Large Clefable, I love you so much. We had all the defense drops in the world that easily would have been able to kill us at like half health. Probably. Man. So, the last Pokemon is going to be this here, Toxapex. And now we can click Max Lightning. Wow, that miss. This person probably just threw their controller. I probably would as well. Well, things are kind of looking out. They're going to go for the Baneful Bunker. And that is kind of a nice play because now that means that you'll be able to um, stall out my Dynamax turns. Max, Light Max Lightning does still get a little teeny bit of damage off because we break through uh, Protects. But... Painful bunker there. A little bit annoying. But now we can just go ahead and T-Bolt. We're also getting some health back at this point. And this thing's probably just going to have, like, Scald as for damage for us. So we shrink back to normal size. Thank you so much. I don't know how the hell you missed an Icicle Crash. Seems like you're a very large target. My fat little pink blob. But that is fine. Now we just click T-Bolt. 
thinking about it if I should have switched, but no, there's no, no way I probably should have. So, able to outspeed. Thing does live it. You're gonna recover and be annoying. You are. Oh my god, why would you do this? All that's doing is allowing me to get more leftover recovery. I've thought about putting Life Orb on this Toxic or on this on this um Clefable. It was initially built for that, but I wanted to run Life Orb Gyarados because I felt like that was more beneficial. So it looks like Leftovers is actually putting us in a pretty good position. And I feel bad because we're basically winning this because of an Icicle cr Crash miss. It actually would have been kind of close because Gyarados could have taken one. So it really kind of depends. You get a Baneful Bunker still. Okay, I can... I could have gone for the Calm Mind there and it like predicted that. But if this starts to get annoying, we can just go ahead and do just that. So... Still eating some leftovers. Either way, I'm pretty sure we got this win because we still have the Gyarados in the back. This thing can't really do much. I mean, unless we hit it with a... We touch it as it Baneful Bunkers and drops our attack. But we're just basically going to stay in here and spam Thunderbolts. I do like your beanie, though. So you, you, you get beanie points for sure. And I'll write you then. We need to get our freaking rank back, boys. Alright, so not going to Baneful Bunker this time. But you are probably going to recover like a McAsshole. Why would you, why, why do people do this? Every Toxapex you ever see basically just prolongs its death. It just sits here and it's like, oh, now I'm in a fucking Baneful Bunker. And, but guess what? We have Calm Mind. And we're actually sitting at some pretty decent health now. So we'll be able to take your Scalds even nicer. We don't give a heck. And it is time to, yep, just Calm Mind as they Baneful Bunker here. Even if they don't, I feel like it's still fine. Bet you didn't expect the Calm Mind, did ya? Ha! Huh. Nice Baneful Bunker. They're probably just trying to stall out PP, which is extremely annoying. The worst type of people. I mean, I would probably start being an asshole too if I just missed an you know, high school crash that would have put me in a way better position, but, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, because thinking about it, the Darmanitan would have taken, put a lot of damage on Gyarados, and then it would have been Gyarados against the Toxpex, and it would have been a real uphill battle unless I got Dragon Dances up. But, what are you going to do? Alright, so we get a Calm Mind up. Now we're just going to T-Bolt again because they really can't Baneful Bunker. But they're just going to click Recover again. We'll see how much that their special attack helps us out. Still not able to do nearly enough. And now you're going to Toxic. Which is fine because we have Magic Guard. <laughs> and uh, we're not going to be able to take damage from that. Magic Guard is an ability, is an ability that you do, um, allows you to not take damage from anything other than attacking moves. Which is great. So like Leech Seed, things like that. Poison. Don't come in on Stealth Rock damage. Clefable does definitely benefit from that. So we're just going to click T-Bolt one more time. Hopefully they don't Baneful Bunker here. I mean, they're probably realizing, yeah, the battle was canceled. So they're just going to go ahead and run. Quite unfortunate that you missed that Icicle Crash. I wish I could say sorry. But then again, using Galar Darmanitan, it really kind of makes you in a meanie head in the first place. All right. So let's keep on moving along here, boys. Did we get our rank back? Assuming we got back to nine, which, Yeah. All right, so we actually don't gain much from wins these days. We need to start. We need to step it up, boys. We're 18 and eight. Still not bad, but definitely could be better. All right, Thomas, what do you got for me? We do see another Galarian Darmanitan and an extremely standard team, uh, which is scary. So, Corviknight. You got the Togekiss as well. You got the Ferrothorn and the Dragapults. So, I think I kind of want to do this a similar thing as we did last time. Let's go ahead and lead off with the Rotom. If we can get the Volt Switch off, that'll put us in pretty good position. Um, also, Unburden Halucha could do great. If we can get the Close Combat off to activate the Unburden, we'd be sitting pretty well. But their team actually does not work with that because they have the damn Corsola, the Togekiss, and the Ferret. Yeah, the Ferret Thorn actually would not be bad for it. But let's bring the Gyarados. And then we are bringing the Clefable. Because Clefable is too damn good not to bring. They do have the Corviknight, though. But we could take an attack from it and hit it hard with the Flamethrower. We could also bring the Cinder. You know what? Cinderace might actually not be a bad idea. Let's rethink this here. Hold up. Let's go ahead and. You know what? We're going to. We're actually. We're still going to lead Rotom. We're going to bring Cinderace. And then we're gonna bring the Gyarados. I think that I think that works out. We have this. We have the Focus Ash Cinderace, uh, which guarantees us to do well against the Darmanitan. That's kind of why the Cinderace is there for Gellar Darmanitans, but it hasn't gotten to do much lately. But Focus Ash is gonna be pretty nice for us. So let's see how this goes. Help me out of here, buddy. I'm expecting the Darmanitan lead to just go for a U-turn, and they are actually gonna lead off with the Corsola. Yeah. Okay. 
Lead Corsola, which is very interesting, and this is actually perfect for us. You know, the one way to take care of Galarian Corsolas is to get rid of its Evie Light, and that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click Trick. Hopefully they don't, they don't switch. I don't think they would. Yep, we get the Trick off, which is amazing. Obviously, we don't benefit from its Evie Light, but now it makes this Corsola much easier to take care of. Um, so that is amazing. It's going to Will-O-Wisp us too, which is fine, because we really do not care about that. And <laughs> nice. So... Corsola is no longer really that much of an issue. And uh, now I'm honestly just going to click Hydro Pump. Going to be able to do a lot. Even if they decide to switch here, if they brought the Ferrothorn, they'd probably switch into that. Could go for the Volt Switch, but I think this thing might just stay in. You know, Volt Switch is probably a good play. It's just kind of hard thinking about what I want to bring in on this thing. I don't want to ruin Cinderace's Sash. I also don't want to bring in the Gyarados to get burnt. So let's just go ahead and click Hydro Pump. Seems like, seems like a nice little middle ground play here. Uh, we also, yeah, so they are going to switch. We'll be at least be able to see what they decide to bring. Ferrothorn? Nope, it's going to be the Dragapult. Okay. So the Volt Switch there would have been better. But at least we were able to really hinder what that Corsola is going to be able to do. Okay. So if this thing is a Dragon Dance one, I'm extremely afraid of that. And uh, I might even just go right for the Will-O-Wisp, to be honest. Don't know if I really need Rotom around that much. Would be nice to get will o It's also good for the Corviknight. Let's go ahead and... Uh, man, if they brought this thing in, it's probably a special attacker, to be honest. But let's go ahead and click will o anyway. Um, if it decides to be a Dragon da dragon Darts. It is a physical one. Okay. So it launches some little baby Dreepies at me. And Rotom is able to take that nicely. At least we're able to live it. Ooh, actually, just kidding. That did knock us down to two. Obviously, with the hit twice... You were going to be able to live it, but shit, that scared me, knocking me down to two. Okay, so we get the burn on this thing, which is fantastic. And, uh, still thinking they brought that Darmanitan in the bag. It's got, they gotta have that Darmanitan. So we're going to take some burn damage and die. But we've got this Dragapult down to half, and we also got rid of that Corsola, essentially. So, now what we can do is, we could bring in the Gyarados and we can get up a Dragon Dance. If we're, do we want to take damage? Yeah, I think we want to bring in, we have to bring in the Gyarados here. It feels weird not having Clefable around, man. I just keep thinking I have it, but no, no Clefable today. All right, so Gyarados. Do we Dragon Dance here? That is the question. Or do we just go right for the Dynamax and get up a Bounce, which will give us a speed boost? I think we Dragon Dance. We know we can take a hit from this thing. The Will-O-Wisp helped us out. Not often you see physical ones. It's going to go for the Phantom Force. Okay, so that's actually fine. It's gonna It's going to vanish. But we don't even attack it, so this is great. This allows us to go ahead and get up the dance. We could even go for another one, and it looks like Gyarados is actually going to be in a great position. Uh, so we'll be able to we'll be able to take an attack from it, and then after this next Dragon Dance, we will be faster. So we're going to go ahead and dance up again. So we're actually already faster, which is fine because this actually works because we wouldn't have been able to hit it anyway. Obviously, it Phantom Forest. So we would not have been able to hit it. Phantom Force is going to do a decent chunk, but the burn is really helping us out there. Rotom, really the MVP. But Gyarados is about to show him who's boss, because now we can go ahead and Dynamax. We know we're faster. We get the Max Airstream, which is going to allow us to get another speed boost, and then we also get a Moxie. So It looks like it is coming back to us, boys. This thing did a decent amount of damage to us, but now we're huge. And they do still have their Dynamax to use. They're obviously not going to do it on their... On their uh, freaking Dragapult, but... This is going to be a free little Moxie boost and a speed boost for us, so... This is the exact reason why Dynamax has been banned on Smogon battles. <laughs> because the, the stat boosts that come with a lot of the attacks are extremely game-changing. So, alright, one Pokemon down. Get that Moxie. We know that they have the Corsola. It kind of comes down to what they brought next. Which, kind of hard for me to believe they didn't bring the Darmanitan. But we can take at least one hit from anything at this point. We're also faster than everything, so... Just going to go into the Corsola. And that is fine. We're just going to go ahead and... Uh, might as well just max Airstream. Ensure that we're the fastest Gyarados on this side of the Mississippi. This thing could Strength Sap. It's probably going to want to get up a will o -Wisp, but there's no way you're living that, buddy. Without your Eevee Light, Corsola is kind of useless, to be honest. That was actually why I, I built that Rotom Wash in the first place. I, it not only does well against, like, um, 
like Gyarados is, does decently well. I mean, it can take at least a Power Whip before any boost. But the trick is there for Corsolas because early in <laughs> the metagame of Gen 8, Corsolas were just running around being obnoxious. And I was like, I don't want anything to do with that. So I'm just going to put a trick, wrote him on the team, and it worked out nicely. So last but not least, they got this here, Corviknight. And they are going to Dynamax it. So we do still have the Focus Sash Cinderace in the back. Um, I do not see this Corviknight pulling through for you, buddy. So finally, we get a match where this team does what it's kind of supposed to do. First match was really terrible, but, you know, it's fine. So, it does actually max guard, too, which is annoying. Max guard, max guard is, I think, one of the cool uh, ways to nerf Dynamax. It's like you basically have to use your own, though, which makes it, makes it interesting. All right. So, we're going to go ahead and click Waterfall here. Just hit that stab damage. We have all sorts of attack at this point. Obviously faster, and we're able to do over half to this thing, which is great. But, now it's able to hit us with the Max Airstream. And that is going to be able to knock us out. So, Dynamax Corviknight is still a bit spooky. It does get that speed boost, but just the fact that we have the Focus Sash on Cinderace does set, up us, set us up nicely. So... Can I eat some leftovers? We can now just bring in the Cinderace, and that's, this is actually its first time even coming out. I've had this thing on the team for the past few episodes, but it really just hasn't been able to do much. But it does does set some pressure on them boys. So, all right. We just click Pyro Ball here. We also have the Sucker Punch for, you know, just in case we ever need it. If this thing max guards, it's fine. Just going to waste another turn. But there's really not much where I see this thing coming out on top. So, obviously faster, because... This thing is insanely fast, and that is going to knock out the Corviknight even through the Dynamax. So, we got ourselves the dub, and uh, not bad. That was that was a really good battle. Being able to get the trick on the Corsolo right in the beginning was like, well, you hate to see it, buddy. So, not too shabby. Not going to check the opponent's team. And we are going to let's continue. Let's go for let's go for one more, shall we? I feel like I always jinx it when I say one more, but we're doing it anyway. Ooh, that sets us halfway to ten, which is great. So let's go ahead and make this a clean twenty wins, shall we? As long as we have more wins than we have losses, <laughs> we're doing good. All right. So what do we see here? Ooh, we see a Tyranitar, Mimic you, a Rotom Heat. Also got the Dracovish. Pangoro, which is interesting, and the Corviknight. So I kind of want to bring Clef Clefable. Um, would like to bring the Rotom as well. We could potentially burn the Mimikyu. Um, I think Clefable works as a pretty great lead here, unless they go with the Corviknight, which I doubt. We're going to lead Clefable. Uh, we're also going to bring the Gyarados, because I think Gyarados does great here. They're probably going to bring their Tyranitar. I would like to bring the Rotom. Just Scarf Will-O-Wisps. I think could be great for us also. It's kind of tough. It's a tough situation here because Halucha actually does kind of good other than the Mimikyu. Man, we want to bring Halucha at some point, but let's go ahead and bring the Rotom Wash, I think. That's what we're going to do. We're going to bring the Rotom. Um, I think being able to burn like potentially Tyranitar, the Dracovish, sets us up pretty nicely. So, you know what? What is Dracovish actually max speed? I know it's pretty slow. Uh, they kind of rely on their choice scarf, and even with the scarf, they don't really have the best speed. So the scarf, uh, Rotom does win that. Max is out at 139, so the thing has to be choice scarf to be able to get that uh, vicious rent to do its max damage. So all right, they are going to lead off with the Rotom. So we both have our Rotoms out here. They're just kidding. No false alarm. I mean, I brought my Rotom, but we don't have them out here. All right. So. This thing's probably going to go for a Volt Switch. I really do not want to switch out here. I'm just going to go ahead and stay in. Um, I think clicking Moon Blast is probably going to be the play. We could Calm Mind, but... We're just going to go ahead and click Moon Blast. I really doubt this thing's going to want to stay in. It might even just... It might even trick me also. <laughs> Let's just go for the Moon Blast and see what they decide. Oh, just going just gonna to Discharge. Okay. So that actually does a decent chunk of damage to us. Now... I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna volt switch. Kind of. Usually, when you see Rotom Heat, just like a, a scout lead. Oh, we actually also do get the special attack drop, which is great. 
and this allows us to take that damage much nicely much nicer so do not have much to hit this thing with but it can't do much to us either i could dynamax it's going to take two hits to knock it out i don't think this thing is going to want to stay in here it doesn't have much to bring into a moon blast um kind of in a situation here though where i really don't want to switch out either i could bring in my rotom Mm, you know, I think we're just gonna I think we're just gonna stay in and Should I dynamax this bitch? No, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go for another moon blast. I don't know if this thing wants to stay in here Yeah, yeah, just gonna stay in and go for another discharge. Well, the special attack drop is gonna help us out because that's not gonna be able to do too much and uh, This is when it would be kind of nice to have like a wish clefable we get it down to about half And man, I really expected you to probably switch this thing out we're kind of just trading Rotom for Clefable at this point. It's still doing a decent amount of damage. What does your boy want to do? Should I bring in my own Rotom here? Be able to at least take an attack, but then I kind of rely on hitting a Hydro Pump, which is, I do not think, the business. I would way rather just kind of trade Clefable here. Man, this is not the best lead for us. Do not really want to Dynamax. If I Dynamax, it'll guarantee that we'll be able to knock this thing out. But then that kind of just puts us in a position where they have their Dynamax and we don't. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click Moonblast again. Now it's gonna go for an Overheat. The great news about that is that it shows us that it's actually not gonna be a choice to Rotom. So it's gonna get another special attack drop. And uh, we haven't seen an item from this thing, so we know it's not Scarf. Just out here Moonblasting away. It's not very effective damage, but. We know that my Rotom will be able to outspeed. This thing cannot touch a damn fly at this point because it has no special attack. So we're really just going to click Moonblast again. This thing, this kind of tells me that they want to get rid of the Clefable because it does great against our team. They're going to go for an Overheat and we actually avoid it. So damn, Clefable is just out here ducking and dodging bitches. They'll love to see it. All right. <laughs> they're probably just going to click Overheat again, um, which actually is not... They're, I think they're, they're forced to hit Overheat again. So this means that I could go ahead and switch easily into Rotom. And then a Volt Switch of our own kill. Should I do that? I think they have to go for the Overheat to hit the max damage. I could also bring in the Gyarados, but I think let's go. Let's go Rotom. We could save the Clefable uh, for potential Death Fodder later. I don't think I see it really being all that useful. But we essentially just get a free switch into our own Rotom here. So, does go for the Overheat. Does hit this time. And that is going to do still a little bit of a chunk. But now your special attack is non-existent. And we are going to click Volt Switch here. Volt Switch is a good play because if they do decide to switch, we get a matchup. Which I kind of feel like they might. I mean, I have a Gyarados on my team, so I feel like they want to keep this Rotom, this Easy Bake Oven around. We're going to click Volt Switch. Nope, they're just going to stay in. Alright, but it's able to knock out their Rotom regardless. So that is one out of the way. And now, rather than showing my Gyarados... I think the best play is probably just to go right back into Clefable. Um, and kind of just see what they're going to bring in. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Dynamaxes are still in play. So this is this could be this could be a bad battle for us. But, I mean, Clefable has just taken too much damage. That lead was not the best. But it's okay. We at least are able to see what their other Mon is is to bring it against Clefable. Is it going to be the Mimikyu? It's going to be the Tyranitar. And this thing, I really see Dynamaxing here. Which is a little bit spooky. So, this thing, if it's any other Ty like any other Tyranitar we've seen, it's probably going to be Weakness Policy, which is not very good. But we do need to get damage off on it. Let's just go for the Moonblast. Man, this thing is definitely going to Dynamax here. Nope, just going to go for an Iron Head, actually. So, that knocks out Clefable. We weren't able to get any damage off on it. But, this allows us to bring in whatever we would like. We could go into Rotom. We could will o -Wisp it. Which I think might be good, because then Gyarados has a decent matchup against it. Potentially could set up. Let's go into, let's go into the Rotom. Let's will o -Wisp it, I think. We also scare it with the Hydro Pump. But in the Sandstorm, this thing has really high special defense, and it's not the best. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's just go for the Will-O-Wisp here. 
It's pretty obvious, but I don't think they have anything else that really wants to come in on a Will-O-Wisp. So, they decided to bring the T-Tar for us, huh? Well then. We got this, boys. As long as we don't miss this Will-O-Wisp, we're in good shape. Also, we can take an attack from this thing, as long as it doesn't Dynamax. I don't think it would Dynamax against a Rotom. Nope, they are. Just kidding. Well, so we get a Scarf Wisp on it. And, uh... At this point, it kind of depends on what their last Mon is going to be, I feel like. Also, let's hope that it's not... I would really like it not to be Weakness Policy, although it probably is. We're going to hit him with the Will-O-Wisp, and we missed it! But they go for a Max Quake. Hello? You cannot Max Quake me, I'm levitating. Wow. Well, oh my god, we missed the Will-O-Wisp there, which was extremely bad for us, but holy shit, they went for Max Quake? I know it says super effective. It's, it says super effective on your move, but I have Levitate, so... We hit it this time. Now they're going to go for the Max Rockfall, which they're forced to do. And, well then... That could have been very bad for us, but it worked out because it wasted a turn of this thing's Dynamax. It actually gets a critical hit. And so, a little bit of luck coming back your way. And now we're knocked down to 2 HP. So, we are able to hit this thing with an attack here. Um, it's locked into... It, it, I could lock it into rock, Max Rockfall. No, just kidding. We're, we're Scarfed. So I, have, I would have to Dynamax here. But I kind of just want to bring in the Gyarados. This thing... Man, if they, if they have Mimic you as their last slot, though, that's where things get a little bit bad. You know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna stay in. I think I would rather use the Dynamax on my Gyarados. We're at least able to burn off this thing's Dynamax turns, which is great. Gonna just go for the Max Steel Spike now. So just showing me its moves. Goes for the Steel Spike. Obviously knocks us out. It is actually gonna get a defense boost from that. So that was actually a good play. Going for the. Going for the Steel Spike, not bad. I see you, I see you. But taking a little bit of burn damage, and now all we have left is the Gyarados. So, depending on what they have left, they have the Mimikyu, the Dracovish, Pangoro, or the Corviknight. I really think it's Mimikyu. If it's Mimikyu, that's the worst for us. Um, we're going to go ahead and definitely Dynamax here. Um, I don't see them switching. Could get up at least one Dragon Dance. We know that I can take one hit from this thing. And it's probably... You know, do I Dragon Dance here? No, because if it's Mimikyu, we're in a bad spot. We're just going to Dynamax. We're going to Max Geyser here. And let's make it rain on these bitches. So we got quite lucky that they went for the Max Quake <laughs> against the Rotom Wash. May have been a misclick, who knows. Alright, big Gyarados. Ordinarily, this is a scary matchup, but since this thing's burnt, we're feeling a little bit, a little bit safer here. So, we are at least able to see how much this does, even though it has the defense boost. That's yeah, gonna knock it out. Alright, you cannot take that Tyranitar. So, the good news about going for the Max Geyser there, it gets rid of the Sandstorm. We don't have to take any damage at all. And now we get more damage with the rain so even if it is Mimikyu we're in a good position here we get that moxie boost and Gyarados is saving the day for us so we take that life orb recoil and now it's time to see what they have left if it's Dracovish we have the max overgrow um, Pangora and Corviknight we still I think do decent against so it is going to be yep the Mimikyu well we are just gonna go ahead and click max airstream here we just need to break this thing's disguise we'll get a speed boost from it which this thing is now going to go ahead and set up, get up the sword stance. But we are large, and I don't think that this thing is carrying, like, protect or anything. So we get the max airstream. Going to be able to break you disguise. We have that moxie boost. And a max geyser in the rain is going to definitely, definitely hurt you. Also, disguise gives you recoil damage in this generation. Something, a little fun fact for you. So I get a little bit of damage there. And does that make us faster... Sword Stance, Mimic you is super scary. We are able to outspeed. Max Geyser, coming in clutch. Is going to be able to take care of the Mimic you. So, 
That was a that was a scary battle. That Mimikyu could have been definitely a threat. Whenever you see a team like that, it's always scary. Tyranitar and Mimikyu, one of the scariest mons. Two of the scariest mons in uh in ranked battles. But we're able to get another another dub there, boys. And you'll love to see it. So at least we're we're ranking up and the team is proving to at least work out a little bit for us, so. Get a battle of calcium there. I like how they do hook you up with, the, with some items too, which is cool. Not gonna check the team. But we are going to go ahead and quit battling. This was a solid episode. I am having fun with these ranked battles. Always as well time. And let's just go ahead and hit single, which is going to show us our rank still. I always feel sketchy about hitting this. Like it's going to get me into a new battle. Oh, just kidding. All right. We're close to 10, boys. We are close. We made some serious progress this episode. And uh, we got ourselves to 20 wins. So thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize for kind of being garbage these past couple, but I feel like we're, you know, we're, we're on the up and up. So don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.